What's good, y'all? It's the P coming at you with another one. Check this out, man. I'm going to address something. So some people call me a LeBron James hater and a Kevin Durant hater. Let me ask you this question then, since you guys got all the answers. What have Kevin Durant and LeBron James did recently that's worth praise? When they were on title contenders, they were title favorites, they had all the right pieces around them, they played with multiple superstars. They're presumed to be top five best players in the game. All of that gone for them, and they come up short. I'm supposed to give you praise for that? So a guy like Kevin Durant is playing with a healthy Kyrie Irving. They're favorites to beat the Boston Celtics. Instead, he gets, his, he gets punched in the face, get his lunch money taken away from him, and he gets swept as being title contenders by the Boston Celtics. I'm supposed to give you credit for that? And then he pulls off this stupid fiasco of asking for a trade. When you didn't do shit for the Brooklyn Nets organization. I'm supposed to give you credit for that? I'm supposed to not criticize a guy that's ESPN and the media labeled and some of you guys labeled as the number one or the second best player in basketball. And he's playing on a title contender, but you don't get no criticism? Since when? Until you could prove to the world that you could win the championship without you know who, then you're going to get criticized. You have all the chances the franchise bend over backwards gave you multiple superstars to play with and you came up short. I don't want to hear no excuses. You don't get no free pass. What is this? You, you play with multiple all-stars, you get free passes if you lose? It's the same for LeBron James. Only difference is LeBron James is ranked above Kevin Durant because you won with every franchise you've been with. Even if it is with a super team because you're supposed to win with a super team. But nevertheless, you have won with every team that you signed on to. Right? And here's the funny part about it. You won in, LeBron won in 2020. They were title defending um, champs in 2021. They came up short. You get criticized for that. Then they upped the ante. And they get Russell Westbrook, a nine-time All-Star. They create a big three. And they don't even make the postseason. I'm supposed to give you a pass for that? Since when? And with that said, I still said, Kevin Durant, you still have ample chance, multiple years, to get on the top ten list. Just like you have a chance to win a million dollars. That don't mean it's going to happen. But you still have a chance to do it. <laughs> right? So, how the fuck am I a Kevin Durant hater if he hasn't done nothing worth praise to talk about to begin with? That's fanboy talk to be taking this man's side and giving him credit for shit that he didn't do. He got a shot block. He got outplayed when it mattered most. And he got swept. You couldn't even get one game and your title contenders? This is not like Michael Jordan in 86. Hell, this is not even the same situation with LeBron in 2018. There's levels to this. You were title favorites. You were title contenders. All right? There's a difference between playing on a bad team and playing on a good team. You're playing on a team with guys that could be future Hall of Famers. You're already playing with star power. What else more do you need to win? We're not giving you a free pass. Neither one of these guys deserve a free pass because last time I checked, you said LeBron's a top five best player in the game. Last time I checked, you said Anthony Davis is a top five or a top ten best player in the game when healthy. So I'm not giving you no free passes for nobody. You want to shut me up? Win. Win without a super team. If you're that great as you say you are, go out there and do what you're supposed to do. And if you're playing on a fucking super team, I suspect nothing than less than excellence from you. I suspect a title from you. Because it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you win a title, people are going to say, hey, it's because you're on a super team. If you don't win a title, people say, how could you not win a title playing on a super team? This is why you don't join super teams, you dummies. But nevertheless, you made your bed. You got a lie in it. And I want the Lakers to get Buddy Hill and Miles Turner. Because you have no excuses if you don't come up if you don't come up hosting that championship by the end of the year. I don't want to hear no excuses from neither one of these guys. Because this is your last season. 
to prove that you're this and you're that. You don't get the job done this season again. I don't want to hear no excuses. Sports out. Peace.